Parashat Kitisa, the fourth Aliyah. So, in the previous Aliyah, Moshe Rabbeinu, he requested from Hashem, he said, That we should be distinguished, me and your nation, from all the other people on planet Earth. Right? Moshe requested that Hashem's presence should only be manifested on the Jewish people and not on any other nation. And in this parasha, Hashem actually agrees to this request and that his presence would only dwell amongst Bnei Israel. So Rashi explains that, what does this mean? Henceforth, Nivua prophecy can no longer come upon the Goyim. So therefore, the Rashi explains that Bil'am, when he prophesizes in Sefer Bamidbar, we have to say that it's not because of the Shekhinah resting upon Bil'am, rather it's being done through some type of medium. Right? Because according to Rashi, and the way he understands this Aliyah, is that Goim cannot have true prophecy. However, if you look at the, the Rambam, he actually holds that Goim can actually be prophets. Right In the beginning of Sefer Yesodeah Torah, he doesn't limit or exclude Goim from Nevoah. And if you actually look in more Nevuchim, in Helek Bet, Perik Membet, he actually equates that the Nivu'ah of Bil'am was at the same level of Yaakov Avinu. Right? So Moshe Rabbeinu has a different level of Nivu'ah, but according to the Rambam, Goim can actually achieve this if they're on a certain level. So how do we understand this interaction between Hashem and Moshe according to the Rambam? What's happening here? So you could actually say that the Rambam, perhaps he learns like the Rashbam, not like Rashi. That when it says, that we're going to be different, it's not referring to the prophetic capabilities of Am Yisrael in relation to the Goyim around them. Rather, it just means that Am Yisrael as a whole, they're going to have a certain uniqueness with their relationship to Hashem, with their Hashkacha Klalit. They're going to have a different relationship than any Goy, any nation can have.